Now, the raging tussle over Kano Emirate is becoming a security concern, and the state government is, a state commissioner of police, Mohammed Usaini Gumal, said the police have, apologies for that, just stay with me right now, need to go on this. Have uncovered plots by miscreants to unleash mayhem on key locations in Kano, including the State House of Assembly. The police commissioner maintains that the State Police Command will not hesitate to enforce the law and maintain peace and stability across the state. Well, let's quickly get your perspectives on this because the tension in Kano is far becoming too worrying, seeing that we have, uh, will I say, two emirs in Kano, and this whole brouhaha, no one knows where it will end. Yeah, no one knows where it will end, but it's very unfortunate that uh, the traditional institution in our country has become, uh, has become uh, a victim of the shenanigans of politicians. Uh, politicians have, don't have, a lot of politicians have proved that they don't truly really respect mm. the traditional institution. I say this without necessarily uh, supporting anyone, but I know that politics took out uh, Emir Sanusi and politics, <laughs> politics brought him back. Yeah. Polit politics also installed Emir uh, Adobayero mm -hmm. and politics uh, took him out. Some people are even saying that maybe by the time another government <laughs> comes, in, comes in, Sanusi by going his way out. That said, let me say that I do not like the way police, the police, has conducted itself in this matter. How so? Now, I'll tell you. Now, I can understand if uh, the police, if the police commissioner says, look, there's a subsisting, subsisting court order. Right. I, I can understand that. But that man didn't have to say it openly that he was not going to obey the order of the governor. He mm. was, it, it, it was not tactful. It was very tactless. It wasn't wise enough to just keep quiet and be seen as neutral. Fine. I am not saying that uh, the police commissioner must necessarily carry out unlawful order if he deems it to be so. But again, looking at it from another perspective, the governor is the chief security of the, of, of the, of the state. If he feels that the security of the state is being threatened, he can give an order. Right. right? Right? So this is why some of us are saying that there's a need for state police. Mm. Because if there is genuine reason, if there's genuine reason, genuine reason to fear insecurity, once you have, if you have a police commissioner who is under the control of go the governor, you cannot say no to the governor. Mm -hmm. the, the IGP cannot say no to to. To, to the president, president or any of the um, service chiefs. Right. They can't say no. Now, I, I think that also there's also, on, on the other hand, there's also a concern that this has proved that state governors could use state police to do, to, to order their whatever, to carry out their own mm -hmm. sinister agenda. However, what I want to say is that this man should have been a little bit more tactful. You know, should have been a little bit more, uh, what's the word I'm looking for now? Diplomatic. 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 So, because people are looking at him as if he's tilting towards uh, a particular part camp or party in the crisis. So, let the police just do the neutral. his job of uh, keeping that place secure. Also, I am going to lay a little blame on the deposed emir. Mm. Now, this is it. I, without, without prejudice to what the court said, I mean, if indeed it was a valid court order, <laughs> if indeed... Only the court can decide. Only the court can decide that. You approach the court that, look, a, a, an order has been given that has not been complied with. Court, save me. You go back to that same court. You don't quote, you don't hold court because you are not, you may be recognized by some people, right. but the governor, the government of the state does not recognize you. Mm -hmm. I am not saying that the governor was right. And I'm not saying that he was wrong. What I'm saying is that if you have been removed, there's a law removing you, mm -hmm. but you claim that there's a court order. You know, the order has not been complied with from your own perspective. What you do is that you go back to the same court. You don't start parading yourself as the Hemia 
you know, allowing crisis to fester in that state. Who gains? What do, what do Kano people stand to gain? What do what does the Emir stand, to, stand gain. to gain? And what does the Emir stand to gain? Nobody gains anything. Right. In the end, these people on whose behalf people are causing uh, riots will be shielded. Nothing will happen to them. They are brothers. They are, but the people, if anybody is going to lose their, their life, it's the people on the streets. If anybody is going to lose their property, it's going to be the poor man. So what do we, uh, what okay. are we getting from the whole thing? So the police, the police authorities must conduct themselves decorously and make sure that they contain any, uh, any, any case of insecurity arising from the whole situation. Mm. Well said, Paul. GKB, with his insightful contribution in this matter, would you say that the police is complicit, even though they are trying to, you know, defend their actions? What do you make of what's happening in Kano? As a traditional chief, I am always unhappy when politicians come into purely traditional things and turn it upside down. But having said that, I cannot, in good conscience, blame Nemia or former Nemia, Nasir Adobayo, is about to lose his job. <laughs> and nobody's happy to lose such a cozy job. It's a job for life. And you've made plans around that. But on the most serious note, I blame the governor. And I blame the police. And I blame whoever else is in control of keeping law and order in the state. Because no matter, we are all human beings. The moment the governor decided that Adobayo is gone and then declared him wanted, they <laughs> tried to rope in the National Security Advisor. I know something is going down. <laughs> because normally, if there has been a court injunction, go and vacate it. Now, see, uh, Sanusi doesn't have to come to Kano. Once the judgment is given, not in the somewhere, not in the main palace. Go to the court and vacate it. Mm. Simple as ABC. But what you are saying is that the judge was not in Nigeria. The signature was fake. All these are parambulations. The only person who can vacate that injunction is the judge. If he's not in Nigeria, you wait until he comes. Or you can report him to NJC mm. or go to an higher court. And somebody is abusing the office. Yeah. So it is very messy matter. Nobody will come out clean. Nobody will come out smelling like roses. Mm. Neither the governor, neither Emir Nasir Adobahero, <laughs> neither Emir Sanusi. Because the thing looks to me as desperation on all parties. Because one, once the House of Assembly has given me the law and the governor has signed it, the former Emir or the Emir has the legitimate right to so query God. that order yeah, yeah. in the court of law. It is, because nobody, nobody will be put in that position and walk away willingly. Nobody. So let's fool ourselves. <laughs> nobody will walk away. Just like that. Don't believe all the nonsense. I don't want to say it's the will of God. People fight <laughs> to be enemies. So one of the enemies says it's the will of God. One of the people says it's the will of God. <laughs> so well, well, that's, his, that's his own position, actually. <laughs> so to me, nobody is right in this matter. Nobody is going to win. Because the moment... The judgment is given for one party mm. you've created in means or the other camp. So what and people in Kano have very, very, very long memories. Mm. They don't forgive his sleep. Ask anybody. Ask Rimi. He's dead now, so you can ask him. <laughs> ask those who have moved against the transgender institution in Kano. And what we, the end will be politically. The Kano people are very particular about the Emirates. But now it's been broken into four. That means those emirs have also lost their jobs. That means the Waziris, the Babaganas, mm. the Galadimas, mm. people who have lost their job right now, based on that, we run into hundreds. That too, we have hangers on. We also rely on mm. the salary of okay. the emir of Gaya or the emir of Rado, who will no longer exist if the state government should get its points right. So sometimes the medicine for headache. It's not to cut the head off. Mm. I think the governor should have applied wisdom. Even after the state government has restricted the Emir. And then look at it, okay. We've created new Emirates. They're already functioning. You can't put the genie back in the bottle. 
The gene is already out. We must find a way to accommodate these new realities. It's like asking, you remember in Lagos State, when they created 57, they uh... said they go back to 20. It's not possible. Thousands of people have been employed to fill those things. They are also citizens of the state. People working for the other Emirates are also citizens of Kano. So that's what I said. I said, this is a battle nobody will win. If Sanusi is to come back as Emir, it will be a tainted Emir mm. Because those others will be looking at him as a usurper. Mm. That's why people are already looking at Nasura Dobairo as a usurper in the first place. <laughs> but we all know as SLS became Emir. We knew the person that could remember uh, the people. Yeah. This story could go back three, four, five, seven years. I'm actually particularly concerned about this um, you know, uh, option that you, are, you highlighted that the governor should look at and explore. But if you're to break it down, you know, you know perhaps, um, let's say, reasonable, or what exactly are your proposals here now? Because already there is a case in Kano. So what would you propose as the government should do to resolve this tension? Uh, on that, the, let's look at it this way. We have two scenarios. If they should return Nasir, everything will go back to status quo. So what I'm proposing will not change the fact that's already on ground. All the other Emir Emirates will stay. But a chance that the judgment goes the way of Sanusi, it will not be on Sanusi himself as Emir to find a way to do whatever he has to do to make sure that those things are already created, already serving people of Kano, right. accommodated within the context of his Emirship. It doesn't have to be tomorrow. It doesn't have to be a year. They could wait for the tension to go down. Be two years. We'll be on his third anniversary mm -hmm. coming back. I said, okay, we're fine. And now I'll sign it that we should create more Emirates. They'll come to the to Kano to get some. But again, in life, uh, what was that Bob Marley song? I mean, he whispers. Somebody will win. Uh, Somebody's got to lose. Can I, can I just say something? I, I don't know if I still have the time. Mm. All right, I don't understand okay. that you've been calling Nasir Adud Bayero. It's actually I mean Adud Bayero. Just okay. to point that there, uh, okay. correction. Okay. okay, let me say something. Yeah. First of all, let me, let me say that the deputy governor has apologized to uh, No Ribadu that he, he actually goofed for <laughs> linking him to the, an, the attempt to foist um, Adud Bayero on the people. Mm. He actually said that he made a mistake, and I we apologize. Secondly, uh, he's talked about the fact that um, the state government should have gone to vacate the, the, the law. Let me be the devil's advocate here. You cannot go and vacate. You won't bother to go and vacate an order which you don't believe even exists. Mm -hmm. Because from his own perspective, the, the, the judge was in the U.S. So, again, that has to be tested in court. That can a judge, is it, can a judge give judge. an order? And a judge who, who is probably is on course or was doing whatever... But for me, the way to resolve this issue is still through the court. Because the deed has been done. The deed has been done. For example, uh, um, this man, Panusi uh, SLS, what the, 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 the Kano Emirate was already divided into five before it was removed. Mm -hmm. you, you understand what I'm trying to say? It was an hemia of only the Kano, I think 10 local government areas then, before it, it was deposed. So if the, the governor, the current governor, wished, he could have just said, okay, let the other Emirates remain while Sanusi comes back to Kanu. the one he was ruling. The, mm -hmm. if, but he didn't do so. Again, politics at work. I think the courts they should rescue us from politicians. should rescue the people of Kano <laughs> from the shenanigans of politicians. Mm. Kano is a very, very strategic yeah, yeah. city and state. State. And if there's crisis in Kano, serious crisis in Kano, it can boil over. I don't, think, I don't think these people are thinking about the common man. I don't think they are thinking about the, pe the good people of Kano, the good people that have votes. They, they will come back and ask for their votes in the 2027. This is not how to run a state like that. Right, right. Point taken there.